Welcome everybody, my name is Misty Slash Konexia, and this is a new schedule that we're starting in 2017. Instead of doing one top 10s per week, I decided to do four top five uh, every day until Friday, and then Friday we'll do a community video instead. So the way we're gonna do this is pick five random anime from this website, randomanime.org, which is gonna give us from a database five anime. Hopefully, uh, we can find a lot of variety it's not gonna have any restriction, I can do this ad vitam eternam, and it's gonna be entertaining! We have a special list of um, of topics, of genre that we could go. I'm gonna remain on all for now, for the first week. If we want to spice it up and do maybe just action, just horror, maybe something like that, you guys let me know in the comment section below, and we'll sort them out at our own leisure. So, with the first entry we get, Hopefully, we get something good. It is... Generating... Kotoro-san! Alright! Uh, that's something we can get behind. Alright, that's a that's up to a solid start. Let's watch Kotoro-san. Oh! Hello, Kotoro! Hello! Eh? What? Hello! Kotoro-san! Alright, let's start with this bad boy. Whether you'll find this good or not solely comes down to your personal preference, because I can see this one go either way. This show's premise is about a little girl who has the ability to read minds. In high school, she meets with a weird guy, and they start hanging out. He messes with her by thinking of fantasy involving her, and then she gets flustered. It's very cute, original, and endearing. In a nutshell, it's a drama rom-com of 12 episodes, I liked it, and on MyAnimalist.net, people gave it 7.4 out of 10. Keep in mind, MyAnimalist's rating isn't the most reliable critical rating system, but maybe it can give you a rough ballpark estimate. Personally, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. The anime is available on Crunchyroll. If you don't already have an account, you can get a free 14 days trial at Crunchyroll.com slash Misty. <laughs> subtle plug. It also helps out the industry quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, next up on the list we have generating number two. Jiki Meshi. Oh. Oh, you guys are lucky today. Alright, let's check it out. JK Meshi. In case my sarcasm was too thick, JK Meshi is bad. The JK probably stands for just kidding, this is not really an anime. It's not worth your time unless you're someone who likes to take pride in watching absolutely everything, or if you're the type of person who gets a kick from enjoying those poorly driven show. There is no background whatsoever, and I mean literal backgrounds, like it's a gradient most of the time. Besides lip flaps, some stretching, and very very rare frames, there isn't any animation either. Each episode is 3 minute long, and they're basically skits between 3 high school girls. The show tries to be educational, but unless you live in Japan and this is suddenly coming up on TV, the only reason you would watch it is because you can't find a remote control to change channel and you're too lazy to stand to change it manually. <laughs> My animals give it a 4.7, but I'm gonna be a dick and give it a flat 1 out of 10. If you think it's worth more, check it out, be my guest. It's also available on Crunchyroll. <laughs> Generating number three. Yay! Okay, cool. Uh, again, it's, it's it's going for a really solid path. I'll keep it going. <laughs> Gate. Ah yes, now that's what I'm talking about. If you have anything on this list to put your attention to, it's, it's Gate. Trust me, I know what the other two are gonna be and... Uh, uh, but we'll get to them. Anyway, Gate's story is about a, a gate that opens in the middle of Tokyo. Fucking best description of 2017, hands down. But no, there's a bunch of mustard that starts swarming the city and the military has to defend it. Eventually, they're deployed on the other side of the gate on this magical land and you get this epic out-of-proportion war. 
If you like military anime with a touch of fantasy, this is the best I can recommend you today. My animalist gave it a 8 out of 10, but fuck yeah, 9 out of 10, BOOM! Watch me one-up them like a champ. <laughs> if you want to check it out, Crunchyroll is your gal, once again. I, I mean, it's, it's available there. Generating number four, we get... Shoot your card, buddy fight. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, it's fine, I'll play the game how it's supposed to be. We're talking about it. It's cool, maybe you'll like it. Number four, future card buddy fight. Look, I don't mean to disrespect the show, but unless you're under 12 years old, I doubt you can find much enjoyment out of this anime. It's a card game anime. If you've seen Yu-Gi-Oh, it follows the same formula where two characters fight against each other by summoning beasts from another world, which may or may not be CGI in some cases. You don't get much of an intriguing plot besides new opponents every now and again, but despite that, my Nimbus gave it a range between 7.2 to 6.4, depending on the season. In my case, it all depends. I mean, from one adult to another adult, uh, this would be maybe a 4 out of 10. But from an adult to a children, well, that's definitely a good 8 out of 10. If you're a parent looking for an anime to sit your kid in front of, that's full of good kid action. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. You can also find it on Crunchyroll too, so two birds with one stone. And finally, the fifth one for today, it is going to be... Kanamemo. Alright, okay, cool. More. It's, it's not shows that I get a lot of chance to talk about, so uh, this is the perfect occasion for me to do so. And we can do that five times a week. Well, four times a week plus the community video at the other end. And finally, Kanamemo. Alright, let's wrap it up with this bad boy. Kanamemo is an anime you probably won't remember much of at the end of a hundred of anime you've seen. M my point is, it's forgetful. The story is about Kana, a girl whose grandma passed away and she ends up in a newspaper station to pay for a room and board. Characters have nothing out of the one-dimensional cookie-cutter mold, and the story is as generic as any slice-of-life anime out there. There is a bit of perverted comedy toss in the mix, so at the very least it's worth a few chuckles. My Nimbus gave it a 7 out of 10. Personally, it took me a lot of effort to get through it all, so um, 6 out of 10 seems fair. But hey, just like the rest, you can be your own judge and by checking it out on Crunchyroll.com. I mean, you don't have to use this one, but if you do, you save a child in Africa and it gives you good conscience. Hopefully. <laughs> Unless you want to see them burned and I can help you with that. <laughs> So you guys remember December and, and, and Christmas and all, all that good stuff? It's, <laughs> it's almost mid-January, but hey, it's, it's Akibento time! So, uh, as usual, I always get a box every month. I show you what's inside and you decide whether or not you want to get yourself one as well. Links is as usual in the description. And uh, you can get yourself one for not too expensive. I think it's like thirty dollars a month, uh, and it's delivered to your place. So, uh, in case, in case that you, oh, oh, they went with super deep tape today. Um, in case you're brand new to uh, to the Akibento box, um, there is also a special sales that is going on. If you've missed the past box, you saw me get. Uh, maybe some things in the previous episode that you really wish you could get. They have a sale right now uh, and a, uh, a store, a special store. Uh, there's a discount code right here that you can put and uh, it's 30% uh, off of any purchase. It's slightly more expensive than getting the normal subscription box that you get every month. But with a discount code it brings you back to cheaper than what it is and it's available for two days. so. Uh, you may want to get into that. So, without further ado, let's open the box. Uh, the theme is theme. 
I forgot. I, I forgot to check it out. But, uh, oh, look, it's your favorite. It's Kurto. Wait, I got to I got to give him justice. Could have also gotten Asuna. Look, it's baby Kurto. Next up, we have an envelope. Oh, oh, this is a special thing just for me. Let's open it together. Holiday friends, you got a fancy letter. Happy holiday. Dear Misty, thank you for your support to Akibento this past year, and we wish you a joyful holiday and all the best in the coming year. Warm, warm wishes and happy holidays. Emily and the entire Akibento team. And there's there's also $200 in there. <laughs> I wish. But, but no, no, it's, it's real sweet of them to just uh, take the time to add this in. Uh, so thanks a lot, guys. Next is something fluffy. Oh, oh, that's something a lot of people might like. Uh, this is a mouse pad. It is from your Lion April. Uh, this is definitely worth probably a lot of money. And this box is the Acumento exclusive. Oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. It's it's a headset, like musical stuff. It's from. Um, there you go. Uh, Love Line. That's definitely something brand new that we never had before. So, uh, yeah, I bet you're sorry you didn't get your own. So, next in the box, we have the pin. Can I ever forget about the pin? Kirito doesn't play music. Following up, we have a tiny, tiny box. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna please a lot of people. Uh, it's a tiny Miku chain, I think. I want to judge the quality of this keychain. Yeah, that's dope. Hopefully the holiday shirt is good. All right. Oh no, no, no! It's Nico, Nico, ni. Yeah, it's a it's a Vocaloid and Love Live uh, compilation with a musical background on a blue shirt. It looks it looks pretty neat. I'm I'm not gonna lie. This meme is overplayed, but. Uh, I, I still kind of like it. it. It looks really cool. So that was the Akibento box. As usual, uh, really neat stuff for 30 bucks. You would never, never in your life find headphones like that. Probably at this for less than 30, uh, especially since they're theme. So maybe, maybe it's something you'll like. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Top 5 for Anime of the Day. <laughs> and uh, if you did, leave a like, tell me what you think about this new format, if you dig it or not. And uh, I will see you tomorrow with another one, and then the day after with another one, and then Thursday as well, and then uh, Friday is going to be uh, the community video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Find another way back here